All right, today we are reviewing the Javelin by Killshots Cornhole. And this is a bag that I, I don't really know where I've seen in this bag yet, right? I, I, I've thrown it, I, I, there's got some good things, some things I like, some things I'm not sure I like. I'm not really sure my overall opinion of this bag yet. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna walk you through it, what I like, what I don't like, and at the end we'll make a decision on where we stand on this bag, I think. Design-wise, I absolutely love this design. It's one of my favorite designs out there. This is a just an awesome design. It's why I picked up this bag when I saw it. I'm like, oh, I love the looks of that. I'm grabbing it. My one, my one gripe, and it's just it's a small one. I'm nitpicking here. It's just that this design is not specific to the Javelin. They use this design on other pretty much all their series. I think it's a good enough design. I'm okay with that. I, the, the regular Javelin design, I see not the kind of normal one. It's just been Javelin across here, pretty basic, but it's it's fine. But this design, absolutely love. Love the color of the carpet material to kind of match the background there. So I, I absolutely love this. That's why I picked it up again. Material wise. Well, real quick, this bag is it's it's it is the same as the Sicario except for the slow side. It's got the same fast side, same template, same fill. If you saw in that video, um, this is basically a sister bag to that, right? So this fast side is the Sicario fast side. This is a material that I think Killshot's designed themselves. I don't know if I don't think any other bags use it. In fact, the only two bags I've seen so far are Sicario and Javelin use this fast side. It's rated at an eight speed. I'm I'm okay calling an eight. I just want to make sure that it that it's a slower eight, right? I call the game changer fast side, which is the surefire fast side. I call that an eight. That's probably more of an eight and a half. That's a faster eight speed material. This is on the slower end of the. This is kind of the you know if you take that eight you know the number between eight and nine, this is on the bottom end. That that game changer is kind of on the opposite end. So there is a difference in speed, but. I'm still going to call them both an eight. I may even call this a seven and a half. So just seven and a half to an eight for this fast side material here. Slow side. This is the, again. This is a different material. This is a newer material. Again, I've never seen this carpet type material. They call it. I think they call it the diamond carpet. And, and it's because they got two different threads here, two different color threads, kind of a green and a brown, which gives it that diamond appearance to it. I don't know if the, if it's different materials or if it's the same material, just different color threads. I, I don't know on that. Uh, the, the feel of this bag and this material, again, it reminds me, of course, this is the same as the Sicario, and I mentioned the Sicario had more of a plasticky feel to it. I still get that same feel with this bag. Neither, neither, neither of these materials are really soft. They don't really just have that soft, great hand feel to them, but they don't feel bad. Once you, The first time you hold them, it feels weird. After you throw them for a while, I got used to it, and I just didn't even notice it at all. So it's not a negative. It's just something to be aware of. The fill in this is that small, round BB fill. Kill Shots calls it their bullseye fill. Really round BB material. Gives the bag a lot of movement, a lot of balance, which which is great for shape shifting or great for shot sh shot shaping. Whoo, that's a tough word. Great for shaping your shots, throwing shot shaping, you know, cuts, rolls, flops, all that stuff. Works wonderful for that. Template wise, it's that real six by six inch square, you know, perfect size, middle of the road template, not too big, not too small. Just right in my fill to it, so it's not, it's it's got flop to it. It's not crazy floppy. Um, it's kind of that just right flop to it, just right fill, just right. Uh, template size on there it gives it a really nice hand feeling. It's just enough feel that when I grab it and, and lock it down with my butterfly grip, there's no movement. Everything's locked in place, no movement. Sometimes you get a little bit thinner bag. It, it doesn't want to lock in. There's a lot of flop and movement. I don't always like my bags moving that much. Um, so, oh no, I, I have no issues with the way it feels, the materials, stuff like that. Now, we'll jump to playability here on this bag. This is where um, this bag. First of all, I'm gonna say, like I said on, on the Sicario, this is not a bag design that, that shows out really well when you're open boards. It's not as a bag design for playing Ghost Cornhole or Round Holios or deck rounds. It's just not made for that. This bag is designed for competition. It plays much better when you have other bags, your opponent's bags, like that. When you're just throwing four bags out there, try to put four bags in and, and get 12 points, it's it's just not made for that. And, and, and the reason I say that is because, one, because of the bounce to it. And I, I showed this in the Sicario. When you have a blocker up there, and this, this material is, is slow enough, you can you control it, you're gonna throw a blocker, it's gonna stick, no problem whatsoever. But when you have a blocker up there, it's 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 tough to, there's, there's, a, there's a spot behind the bag that if you land, you're gonna miss the collection, even if you're right on, because that bag's gonna hit, and it's just gonna wanna pop and hop over, spin around, whatever. It's not gonna go through it, right? So you've gotta land either further back or closer to it. If you go closer to it and land like pretty much right on it or right behind it, you you take away the ability of that bag to bounce and it immediately hits and smashes into it and it'll push and collect. If you come back a little shallower and throw, if you don't throw it harder, again, this is an eight speed, but slower. It's gonna push up, hit that bag, push the bag in, and this bag's gonna sit. It doesn't have enough momentum to push through it. Where I think if you used that game changer fast line material, I think if this bag was hanging there, this would have enough momentum to, because that bag, that material doesn't, that material has momentum to it. It doesn't stop as well, as quickly. It wants to push and push through. This material tends to want to stop a little more. I had more issues with this bag stopping 
And so I had to throw it harder. And, and, and the danger, I mean, throwing harder is fine, but sometimes throwing harder is not always what you want to do, right? So just be aware of that. I had that happen. Once I learned that, I was able to work around it. And I learned, especially if I had multiple bags up there at the hole, to throw a harder, deeper bag to hit into it or even airmail on it to take it in. You just have to be careful when you go deep because if you land on top of the bag, it's going to want to bounce over the bag. And sometimes you end up hopping this one over the hole or off the back of the board and then you got no bags in. Be aware of that. Like, again, it's great for when you have a blocker up there, your opponent's gotta then deal with it. And because it's a little stickier, it doesn't wanna move as well. It's gonna cause more issues for them when they try to go through it. I did also find that this material tends to wanna to hang with the hole a little more. It just, it doesn't have that meltiness to it. And, and I thought this, this round fill would be a little more hole friendly than what it is. I think the problem is it's almost too small. Like you get that round bead of materials, they don't wanna be, they don't want the, the round bead balls don't want to stay together because they're very unstable. They want to keep moving, and it leads to that that beads cascading into the hole, which is why I always say the bead fill is more hole friendly than that disc fill because you get that flatter material. Sometimes they can find flat spots where the the, the the fill can sit and it stops moving because it can settle there. The beads don't really do that, but I think because this bead is so small. It almost feels fluid in there. It feels like a gel-like. So I don't know if it really maintains that movement that some of the bigger beads do. Now, by having the smaller bead, it gives it a better hand feel. You don't feel the chunky beads in there, but I think you're sacrificing a little bit of the hole friendliness on this. Again, when it's hanging on the hole, it's it's collectible. I just found that when I had bags hanging there that I couldn't just throw a bag in and, and just clip it and drop it. I really had to come after that bag and come into it and catch it and put it in. Which did, I did from time to time have issues where the bags would catch and bunch up and clog the hole. Again, I've mentioned this before, on carpet style bags, I don't mind clogging the hole. If I'm ahead on the board, I've got a bag in and say they don't, I'm going to throw my X bag. I want to clog the hole. Clog the hole so they can't put a bag in unless they take mine with them. And then that way I'm going to walk away with points now. So I'm okay with that. And if you're, if you're an experienced player and you're able to do that on purpose, you can really use that to your advantage. And, and I just think that this bag is designed more for the experienced player, the more consistent player. I don't think this is a bag that if you're a beginner or you have an inconsistent throw, this is a bag, this is not a bag designed for you. You're not gonna have a lot of success with this bag because you've gotta be able to pinpoint exactly where you're landing on the board. As I mentioned in my Sicario video, because of this bounce, if you don't land, if you land it too deep on the board, you're gonna bounce over the hole. Like you've gotta be able to control exactly where you're, if you land this bag correctly, you, you can put bags in no problem. So you gotta be able to be consistent in your landing spot. And if you can't do that, this is not a bag for you. That's fine. Kill Shots has other bags that are for you. So, so I'm not trying to make this a negative. I'm just saying this is a bag for a little bit more of an advanced player. Because if you can if you can control where you're landing and you're a player who can throw cut shots and a player who can flop and roll, this is a bag where then you can utilize all that this bag offers. And I think this bag really shines in those areas. Um, so for me, I'm okay with it. I, I honestly, I think I would rather throw the Sicario with this because I just like a little bit of that little bit faster slow side this car has. If I wanted to throw a slower slow side, I'd probably on the on the kill shot side, I'd probably go to a, a cannon that that carpet bag they have. If I want to go faster, actually, I'd go with like a like a P90, um, 357, something like that. It's probably where I would go as opposed to even this the Sicario. But again, I, I I like the fact that Kill Shots is using new materials, bringing some innovation to the game. And this honestly, this is not a bad bag. This is a good bag. If you put this bag in the right player's hands, it's an awesome bag. In the wrong player's hands, the bag's gonna you're gonna hate it, right? If you're not if if you're not at that level and you need to be to, to control this bag, you're not gonna like it. I also think this bag would probably play really well on faster boards because the faster the board is, you're gonna take away some of that bounce and it's gonna it's gonna slide in the hole easier. It's not gonna have it's not gonna be as hard to collect, not be as hard, it's not gonna hang up as much. So faster boards, more experienced players, you're gonna love this. Everyone else. I think Kill Shots has better bags for you along that. Now, availability. Right now, the Javelin is a new bag. The availability is not quite there. Kill Shots does have what they, I think it's called, I think they call it text alert. They, if you sign up, they will text you when they do releases. I've done that. It's awesome. Shoot you a text. When you get that text, you got to jump on right then to grab the newer bags because they sell out pretty quickly. But you get the advance notice of the text before other people see it on the website, right? You get the text. You get the direct link. Click on the link. It takes you right to that bag. You can check out. Grab yourself a set. So if you're looking for the Sicarios, the Javelins, I think the Napalms, any of their other newer bags are hard to get bags, get signed up for that text alert so you can get those alerts and you get them first. Uh, these bags, these bags were $125. Um, and I don't know if that's just because of, this was the top secret design, that's what they will price here. And most of the bags are running about $110 for them plus shipping. So between $110, $125 plus shipping, 
Higher end on the price of bags. Um, I, I'm not gonna say the bag isn't worth it. They're, they're high quality bags. Uh, Kill Shots at one time had some quality control issues. That, that's long since been gone. Kill Shots now makes high quality bags. I've never had an issue with their bags. They're awesome. Um, you're getting a bag that that's going to last. So I, I don't want to say they're not worth that. And and it, you know some of these top secret designs, these are a little more limited. So you're paying a little more because you're getting a limited bag. If you're a collector of any sort, by all means, it's worth it. Um, I just got this again because I love the design. I'm okay paying a little more for something I really like the way it looks. So oh no, I you know if 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 you fit the category, I, I'm not going to complain about the price of it. Availability of these right now aren't really available, but I think it won't be long before we start seeing more and more on the. On the website, I'll put a link to the website. I think it's Kill Shots Cornhole, I believe, but I'll put a link to the website in the description here uh, for you as well. If I can find the information, I'll put the information down below as well to sign up for the text alerts. But if you go to their website, it's it's on there. It won't be any problem to do. So, oh no, I think it's a solid bag for some players. Others, you might want to try a different Kill Shots bag. So, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for your support. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream.